It was in 1917 that a chef working at the Ritz-Carlton in New York City recreated his grandmother's recipe for potato leek soup and named it Vichy Soise in honor of his birth town, which was near Vichy, France. Vichy Soise was a new, modern, elegant soup that was served cold, and it soon became a popular menu item. To make Vichy Soise, you'll need one and a half pounds of trimmed washed leeks, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of salt, two cups of peeled, chopped Yukon Gold potatoes, four cups of chicken stock, three quarters of a cup of half and half, and one quarter of a cup of prim fresh. So your first step is preparing your leeks. And they need to be trimmed and they need to be washed. You want to take off most of the green, which is now waste, but you can leave some of the green on. Just cut your leek down the middle, lay it flat, and now you want to start slicing it in thin slices. All of these slices will then be put in a bowl with fresh cold water and agitated to get rid of all of the sand and grit that is hiding within the leek. Leeks are grown in a very sandy soil and so they're known to have a lot of sand. With all of our leeks thin, thinly sliced, I'm placing handfuls of them into our cold water bath, which I'll then agitate around. And I'll probably do this two times with another fresh batch of water just to make sure we get all the sand and grit out of the leeks. Just using my hands. I'm just transferring our sliced leeks from the first water bath into a fresh water bath. And I don't know whether you can see how dirty the water is, but there is quite a bit of sand and grit that has come out of these leeks. I've added our two tablespoons of butter to our pot, and now I'm just adding two tablespoons of olive oil to the butter. I'm waiting for this to get nice and hot and bubbly, and then it'll be time to add our rinsed leeks. The difference between making vicious claws and making just potato leek soup is all in the technique. Basically the ingredients are the same, but the technique is very, very different. And the first step in making this vicious claws is to saute your leeks in the butter and olive oil, at which point we'll reduce the heat. I'm going to stir them to make sure they're well coated with the butter and oil. And very much like when we're caramelizing onions, we're going to cook these for about 30 minutes over low heat to bring out all the richness and all the flavor that's hiding within these beautiful, beautiful leeks. So once they're, you feel that they're completely coated with the oil, you just want to reduce your heat and they'll be on the stove for about 30 minutes and I'll be stirring them every five minutes. Our leeks have been on the stove now for 15 minutes and they're starting to melt nicely. You want to watch and make sure that they don't brown too much. You'll get a few that will brown, you can't help that, but you really want to keep your heat low enough that they don't brown too much. This is the time to add your one teaspoon of salt and stir it in well. And these have about another 15 minutes to go. We really want this almost to be like a mush. It's been 30 minutes and our leeks have just cooked down to where they're just just a, almost pasty, just completely broken down. And that's what you're looking for. And this is the technique of making the perfect vichy soise. So your next step is to take your two cups of chopped Yukon Gold potatoes and to stir them in, get them nicely mixed in with the leeks. And then it'll be time to add our chicken broth, cover it and simmer for 30 more minutes. And now just pour in your remaining chicken broth in with your potatoes in your leeks. It was a French who actually figured out how to use leeks in the kitchen. And they recognized that leeks is one of the most interesting, sweet and subtle member of the onion family. Everyone else uses the leek pretty much without thought, except Americans who hardly ever use it at all. I learned to use an immersion blender from cooking classes in France, and it's a wonderful investment for people who enjoy making soups.
you're looking for an absolutely silky smooth puree. Our soup ha has pureed beautifully and it's back on low heat and now it's time to just stir in your three quarters of a cup of half and half. One quarter of a cup of creme fraiche. Remember to use creme fraiche and not sour cream because sour cream will curdle and you can find my creme fraiche recipe on my YouTube channel. I was 10 years old when I was served my first bowl of Vichy sauce. I was intrigued with this delicious soup. Our modern world has forgotten about this elegant cold soup, thinking it's complicated or just too much trouble to make. But I say that if you take the time to make Vichy sauce, once you've tasted it, served either hot or cold, that it will become a family favorite.